Welcome to the courtroom of Judge Tony Clifton. I'm Carla Jenkins. The case of two mates gone stale is a dispute over a chess match between two longtime friends. Plaintiff Victor Asseline and defendant Ernie Miranda ended their last game in a stalemate. Asseline is suing Miranda for the $380 they wagered over the game. He claims the final configuration of the pieces entitles him to victory. Miranda begs to differ. But let's see what Judge Tony thinks. All rise for the Honorable Judge Tony Clifton. Okay, court's in session. I have read your papers. You are the plaintiff? Yes, sir. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear your side of the story. Well, we, we've known each other for five years. We've been... Five friends. years, and this is what you put the man through. This well, is, you call this friendship. Well, not after what happened well, here. Well, let's hear it then. Well, he owes me money that he, he decides that uh, he doesn't owe me. Uh, we play chess. He owes me $380, and he says that it's only $190 that he owes me. Okay, let's hear your side. Well, we played chess. We bet uh, 190 on a, a, the first game, and then we played for the second game. And he went to chase me for 380. Supposedly, I lost, but it's like it's, it's like a stalemate. So it's like a draw. So nobody win on that game. So you're saying it's a draw. Yeah. You're saying it's not a draw. Absolutely, sir. So who, what, what do I have to do? Be an, be an expert at chess? That's it's what you ask me. That you come in here. That it's chess it's is it's not it's my game. You know, my game is checkers. <laughs> okay. That's right. Maybe you crown me. Maybe you king me. So I, this, is a, this is a hard call. How long you guys been friends? Five, five years. Now, you guys still playing chess? Not anymore. Uh, let's see. Let me ask you this. What nationality are you? Filipino. You're Filipino. What nationality are you? I'm French. You're French? Yes, sir. Well, you know, the French are great chess players. You really? telling me you're a better player than him? No, not exactly. Sometimes are you he... telling me you're a better player than him? I think so. On this Are you a better game. player than he is? No, he's beaten me quite a few times, but since I had the chance to recoup some of my money, uh, that was my chance right here. Where was this game played? On the Fairfax and Third Street. In wait a second, wait a second. Ever heard of Las Vegas? Yes, sir. Have you ever heard of Las Vegas? Sure, sir. Or Las Wages, as they can sometimes call it. Okay? Right. Do you, are, are you two gentlemen for real? I mean, are you aware of the fact that gambling is illegal in the state of California? Yes, Your Honor. Are you aware of this? This was a friend. Let's say yes or no. Are you aware of this? Yes, Your Honor. Are you aware of it? Yes, Your Honor. You weren't on any Indian reservation when you were playing this game. No, Your Honor. You thought you were going to come into my court and have me make some kind of decision over your illegality and gambling. He owes me the money. Shut up! You know that gambling is destroying, you know how many lives it destroys? Ever hear of Gamblers Anonymous? It is serious and should be on the docket as serious as, as alcoholism. He still owes me the money. Will you shut up? When I tell you to talk, you talk. And quit looking at him. I think there's something goofy in the head with both of you guys. Honest to God, I can't believe this, that you would come in. First of all, you'd come to a court of law dressed like this. Well, what's wrong with my outfit, Your Honor? Wait, so, wait, wait, did you just say something to me before I asked you a question? See, this is how it works in court. Let me tell you, how long you've been in this country? 30 years. 30 years. What na well, what's with that accent? What nationality are you? I'm French, Your Honor. You're French. Okay, well, let me tell you something right here, my friend. I don't want to be biased. When you were in France last? Two years ago. Two years ago. Why, do they, why are, are, are us Americans treated so poorly when we go there? I was there a number of years ago. Not anymore, Your Honor. So yes. you, will, you will you apologize on behalf of your countrymen I the will. way I was personally treated and other people in this courtroom? I will. Okay, now he's starting. And if you ever come both agree that you will dress properly, because I could throw the book at you now for illegal gambling. You are in a court of law. We have a court reporter going, and you're saying that you have done illegal activity. And then you're asking me to give you some money. Get him out of here. Please. All rise. Court is adjourned.
Well, there we have it. The judge has made his ruling. Let's talk to some of the litigants. Sir? Hi. Hi. Do you feel that you were able to argue your case? Well, there's a little bit. I think the judge is, uh, you know, is upset also. So I think we needed something illegal. So. Okay. Good luck to you. you Sir? Do you think you'll have a friendship after this? It's always possible. As long as he pays me my money, it's always possible. Can you well, believe good luck getting the money. Thank you. We understand the Tahoe lifestyle. That's why we offer quality furniture at discount pricing. Names you know and trust at a price that makes decorating affordable. Your friendly neighbors at Bijou Furniture Outlet can help you find the right piece to complement any room or your entire home. Bijou Furniture Outlet, Tahoe's only true discount furniture store is waiting to change your view. Show and Shine is the name of the game, with events at Victorian Square in Sparks, the Atlantis Casino, the Pepper Mill, the Hilton, and the Truckers Fest Show and Shine at the Alamo Petro Stopping Center in Sparks. Controlled cruising in Sparks and downtown Reno top off today's events, followed by shows featuring the Village People and the Beach Boys. The fun continues. More schedules coming up from 24-Hour Fitness. Did you cheat on your ex with your current mate, but now your current mate is worried you'll cheat on her too? If you want to say, I cheated on my ex, but I won't cheat on you, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY or log on to www.ricky.com. Plaintiff Tafon Nevis is a martial arts instructor. He claims he provided lessons to the defendant, Alia Gerstel. Gerstel says that the two were friends and disputes the claim, holding that Nevis offered the lesson for free. Let's join Judge Tony for the case of no pay for sensei. All rise for the Honorable Judge Tony Clifton. gentlemen have been sworn in. Let's start here with the plaintiff. Let's hear it, man. Hi. Well, this guy right Hi. here. Hi. Hi. Hi something, sir, you do on the street, oh, not in a court, court of law. Okay. Yes, judge, no judge. Yes, judge. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait a second. What are you getting? Uh, welcome? Was that, is that sarcastic? That's not sarcasm? Was that sarcasm? No. Let's hear it. Well, I've been training this guy for the past year. Uh-huh. And training I've him doing what? Karate? Martial arts. Martial arts, okay. Which is called universal arts. Which makes you a big man, right? No. Because you have disability that uh, us, us, some other guys don't have. Is that it? I just don't want nobody to give me an attitude. Oh, you don't want anybody giving you an attitude? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you don't want <laughs> You don't want anyone giving you an attitude? Yeah. Okay. You'll take my attitude, won't you? You take the U.S. judicial system's attitude? You okay with that? Certain point. Okay, finish your story. All right, man. Quickly. All right. Well, he owes me money for at least like 10 months. You know, I gave him a, an application to fill out. You know, I told him the rules. You know, he's supposed to pay $25 every month and then... For what? For what? For training. For training. You gave him this training? Yes. What kind of training did you give him? Martial arts, self-defense. This, and you, you are a, a instructor in this field? Yes. You are you're a documented instructor? Yes. Let's see what you can do. Can you do something for us? If I were you, I would have paid the man. That guy kicked your ass. <laughs> Oh, that was very good now. Okay. So now you, you, have you done anything? You, supposedly you taught this man some of these moves. Yeah. Sir, can I see what you can do? <clears throat> see if you learned anything here. Come out here. How old are you? 63. 63 years old, and you want to learn this stuff at that age. You have, have yourself a heart attack. Go on, <laughs> let's see what you're going to do here. Let's see something. No, don't help him. Don't help. Hey, hey, who's the judge here? Jamison, come on. Let's see it. Let's see what you can do. I'm going to count to three. I'm telling you, I cannot be here all day. I have a big docket today. One, two, three. Let's see it. Sir, can we stop, stop you right there, sir? 
Well, what I would say, uh, say to you is this, buy yourself a gun. <laughs> you, are, you are not good at this. You ever see that movie, you know, that Harrison Ford movie, the guy who pulls the whip out, and Harrison Ford just shoots him? That's what you should do. This is, uh, <laughs> this is unbelievable. You can go back, sir. So what is your name? My name is Elia. Elia. Elia, listen, I, I do not mean to humiliate you, sir, but you are pathetic. You're pathetic, and, 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 and I, uh, do you agree with me? I just do you agree with, the, with me that you're pathetic? Uh, no, it is. It's true. Uh, you're an older gentleman. Can I say something? Sure. The problem is, is that, you know, when he comes to train, you know, he'll just come for a few hours, and let's say he's supposed to come tomorrow again, and he doesn't show up, or he disappears for two or three weeks, and he shows up. But he's a loon. He's a loon. You could yeah. see this. It's written all over. I'm yeah. not p putting you down. I'm helping you here. I'm trying to get you out of paying something. I really well, don't I think this guy, I breaks. don't think this guy is even aware of the fact that he was paying for a service. I think what this is all about is you with an attitude taking advantage of all the gentlemen. Isn't that what this is? No, isn't that what this is? That is what this is. Hey, can you know what? You got an attitude to start with when you came in here. Hi, George. Now I could see this goof dressing like that, but you're a younger man, and look at the way you're dressed. Come into court like this. What else you got to say? You don't say nothing, because you have no respect for us older people. I see guys like you all, all the time with your muscles. And you get karate. I got a guy here with a gun. I decide in favor of the defendant. You get the hell out of my court. All right. Get out of the court. I'm just thrown out. Bozo. I'm sorry, defendant. sir. I'm sorry to have to put you down to save you some money. We're going to speak in some more seconds. you were able to argue your case sufficiently? No, I, he decided to train, okay? I trained him. I did the best I could to help him. He decided to make this commitment. I make it clear to him, mm -hmm. you know, the rules, the regulations, and he really wanted to do this, you know? And if he doesn't remember his movements, his techniques, that's not my fault. That's his fault. Oh, good luck, sir, with your martial arts school. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, hi. Are you going to take up the judge's suggestion and maybe take another mode of uh, defense? Uh, I really started the, uh, the training for reasons of physical fitness. Mm. And um, <clears throat> uh, just been a matter of uh, timing and, and uh, punctuality. So. Uh, okay, good luck with getting in shape. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And that concludes our case. No sales, no gimmicks. When we say we have the lowest prices, we mean it and encourage you to compare. We offer the largest in-stock selection. One low price includes carpet, pad, installation, and removal of your old carpet, and no hidden charges. And when we say we'll install your carpet on a certain day, we'll do it. Don't put up with empty promises. Come to Washburn where you'll find first quality carpets for less. I want to have a great body, and I'm going to get it here. It's awesome because of the people. And the fact that they greet you as you come in the door and they say goodnight to you when you leave. We love this place. Just do it. No matter business, friendliness, business for everybody. At the American Attorney Center, we accept many qualified cases with no money down and easy payment plans. Yes, no money down. Call 1-800-BANKRUPT for a free debt review by phone 24 hours a day. Call 1-800-BANKRUPT. Someone you know and trust. Call now. Northern Nevada's most accurate forecast from the largest, most experienced weather team in the nation. AccuWeather. Every night on Fox 11's 10 o'clock news. Sponsored by the El Dorado Hotel Casino and Sportos, Reno's European service and sales experience. Cabinet and Lighting Supply, 6970 South Virginia. 
Hawthorne apartment manager, Irina Kamishnikov, claims that the defendant, Miguel Flores, uses charcoal grill despite apartment rules, and that Flores has a loud party several times a week. Kamishnikov is seeking a cease and desist order. Let's see what the judge makes of this smoky situation. I'll rise to the Honorable Judge Tony Tubbs. Is the plaintiff? I've read your case, uh, Miss. Uh, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, Irina Kamishnikov. Kamishnikov. Yes. That is a fine. What? No, what nationality is that, Miss? A Russian. Oh, a Russian. I yeah. see. Well, so you, you you make good Russian food. <laughs> you do, huh? A piagi, you know, piagi. It's okay. Kawumki. That right? Is I am I pronouncing it right? Jamie, yeah, that's right. Russian. Okay. Okay. Well, let's let's hear your story. Uh, my story was. Uh, speak up. I could I hardly hear you. Uh, my story was, I want to uh, first... Miss, you're going to have to speak up. I'm a little hard of hearing. Okay. Be loud, thank you. Yeah. Uh, first, I want to uh, ask uh, Miguel, he didn't pay rent for us. It's go months to months, he didn't pay on the time. Uh, we not charge for him late charge, you know, like usually we charge $25 late charge. We not charge for him, you know, by this month. It's already it's stories, and he didn't pay rent, and uh, he has a lot of party, a lot. He has and parties. Is that parties. Just party? He's partying. He's one of those guys. Yeah, he make a lot of noise, mm -hmm. and tenants call me about this one because sometimes it's party. And Other the, tenants called you. Uh, and I have uh, notice. Some from other ones. Can yeah. I see it, please, bailiff? I have notice from tenants for oh. his neighbors. Mm. We will look at it. We will look at it. Okay. Well, whose neighbor is this? Uh, it's two young girls. Two young girls. Yeah, How she, young are they? It's like 25 years old. Are they attractive? <laughs> no, but are they attractive? You know, and... Are they attractive young girls? No. No, they're not. They're dogs. Okay, here, take <laughs> this back. we put a file on it. Go on. So keep going. And, uh, and you what know, else? And you know he make he make a lot of he, he make makes a lot of noise. I noise heard this something he, about charcoal. What's that? And he make barbecue outside. He makes a barbecue yeah. out while you would, would okay. He makes a barbecue outside. And what does he do? And he not cleaning after him. And he make. He doesn't clean up after himself. You, you know, usually he make big big mess after you you make barbecue. What is he making those barbecues? American hot dogs, right? Not the uh, not the uh, the Russian uh, pierogi. Not the Russian pierogi. You know, and... Uh, you know what, I think, you know what, miss, I gotta tell you something. I've been doing this a long time. A long time. I'm sure you've been cooking your pierogi a long time. How many years have you been in the country here? Six years. Six years, from where, Russia? Mother Russia, right? right. Am I correct? Right. So, you know, I, I gotta tell you something. You're a very nice woman. And I'm going to let you talk, but you know what? I don't think you even have to talk much in this situation. Because you know why? This is clear cut. Russia has fallen. How do you feel about that? Not too good, right? See, maybe back in Russia. You know, we will. Wait a second. Do you see? When I ask a question, then you answer. That's how it works in American justice. I don't know what they have in Russia or what they had, but it's over. And you're not in Russia anymore. I'm not Russian hey, anymore. Can I say one more time, lady, I'm telling you, I see what you're doing. You're not Russian anymore. You have American citizenship? Yes. You do? Did you apply or do you have it? I have, I have right now, American citizen. You have it with you. Yes. You have a card. Yes. You are American citizen. Well, thank you very much, and that's very good. Well, I've got to tell you this. You could sit there and you could learn the Star Spangled Banner, but what you got to do, you know where America is? America is in here, in the heart. See, in Russia, and I'm, I'm sure you're a very nice lady. I'm sure she's trying to do her job as a landlady. Keep everybody happy. That's not easy. It's a lot of work. Oh, darn it, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But she's got to sit there and understand one thing. You are not in, in Russia, I'm sure lights are out at 8 p.m. All he's trying to do is have a party. Is that so damn illegal? No, it's not illegal. Now you, you are a killjoy. And you know what? There, there many people will think that this red threat is over. It's not. It's people like you, and I want your green card number before you leave. 
because this is the grassroots how it starts. It starts like that. Okay, and I see you're sitting there right now. Will you please state the Pledge of Allegiance? We got the flag here, can I hear it? I didn't think so. I am ruling in favor of the defendant. The court is going to issue $500 that should be used for your next party. Then I hope I'm invited too. And I hope you're there. And maybe on that grill of life, we have the American hot dog and we have the, the Russian sausage. Bless you both. All rise. <clears throat> court is adjourned. Judge Tony has ruled in favor of the defendant. Plus a $500 bonus. Let's speak to the litigants. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Hi. Uh, do you think the judge was fair on his ruling? Uh, I think so. He's not right. Okay. Well, good yeah. luck. Thank you. Good luck to Thank you. you. Sir, is it true that you don't clean up after yourself after queuing? I do clean. Sir, is it true that you don't clean up after barbecuing? I do clean sometimes, and um, yeah, we have parties all the time. Mm -hmm. Every, I mean, three times a week and all that. And we make noise sometimes, I understand that. Right. Well, congratulations on your $500 bonus. Thank you. Thank you. That concludes our case. Many unique tastes left from each sip. There's a special freshness in every cup. Look for a label, try something new, be surprised, and enjoy the never-ending mystery we call coffee. Sierra Pacific Coffee Company. Grown globally, roasted locally, taste the difference. North Tahoe Water Sports, located in Tahoe City and Kings Beach, offers the best activities for your on-the-lake entertainment. With Tahoe City's Superior Paris Lane operation, local owners Kurt and Andy will take you as high as 1,400 feet in the air with spectacular views of Lake Tahoe. While on Kings Beach, take a one- or two-seater kayak or cruise over to gorgeous Speedboat Beach, enjoy a mellow day on a paddle boat while floating over the crystal blue Tahoe water or fly by the seat of your pants on a state-of-the-art jet ski. Have no regrets. Visit North Tahoe Water Sports for an action impact day on Lake Tahoe. Our next case is a bit of fishy business. Plaintiff Rory Flynn raised his fish since they were guppies. Needing to go on a weekend trip, Flynn asked defendant Tina Gregory to look after his aquarium. When he returned, the fish were dead. Flynn is suing Gregory for $250. But will Judge Tony believe this fish tale? Let's find out. All rise for the Honorable Judge Tony Clifton. You were already sworn in, so let's go to it. Let's hear the story here by Mr. Flynn, is it? Yes, These sir. were your fish? Yes, sir. These fish had names? Yes, sir. You, had, you gave them names? Yes, sir. They were your friends? Yes, Jack. Jack was a Jack Dempsey, and Oscar was a Oscar. Jack and, and, and Jack Dempsey and Oscar. Okay, let's yeah. hear it. And, and it was one more, it was Red, it was the Red Devil. Red, Red Dog. Your little buddies. How long did you have these fish? Seven years. Seven years? Yes, sir. You had to be traumatized when you got home and they were yes, floating. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Floating dead well, on the tank. They weren't flounders, are they? Because I, I can't stand these No, flounders. they were floating like logs when I got back. You were lost. Okay. Okay, let's hear it. Well, I left them in her charge over the weekend, and I called every day to make sure everything was okay. And she said everything was okay. So on the third day when I got back, uh, when I walked into my apartment, all the fish were floating. And I asked her about them, and she said she didn't know anything about it. And what basically, I tried out the water. I put a, a, a goldfish in the tank, and the goldfish died immediately. So I figured it was very The toxic. water was tainted? Yes. OK, let's hear your side. Well, Mr. Flynn, he asked me to watch his, watch his fish for him over the weekend. I did so. He told me to go up to his house and check on his fish every day and feed them. And I did that. When I went and I had my two little daughters with me, and the fish was fine. Nothing seemed to be wrong with the fish or anything. Well, you had two little daughters in there. Yes. They came I, in there, too? Yes, they did came. Did they come near this fish tank? No, they did not. I you made sure? sure? I'm positive. You I think what some, what something happened to the fish tank? <laughs> yeah, well, I saw kind of little fingerprints on the tank. Little handprints? Little handprints, yeah. 
they did not touch the fish tank at all. I made sure that they didn't go near the fish tank at all because I know how he is about Who was fish. feeding these fish? I what, was feeding the fish. What did you feed them? I fed them the fish food that he had left up there on the top of the aquarium. I have a picture of the aquarium. Okay, let's see it. How do you kill fish anyway? How do they, they you drown them? What? How do, I didn't do how does anything. That that's the fish tank, huh? Yeah. Now, you want $250. Yeah. Because you say that's what those fish cost you. Yeah, that's just basically what it costs in the food over the... Well, what do you think happened? Well, I think something was entered into the tank, some type of chemical or something. Why would somebody do that? What do you think, the little kids put Drano in there? Possibly, or any... It could have been <laughs> Did like Did you take bleach. a sample of the water? No, I just, I just tested it out, you know, with a, a goldfish, and it died immediately. But you didn't name that little goldfish, did you? No, it was a feeder fish. Oh, so he, so it was, but wasn't, what well, was that mean? Feeder, die anyway. So feeder fish does not get to be named, is that right, it? Right, right. Feeder fish is, 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 is less than, than, than fishy, right, right, less than human. They're made to die. I beg your pardon? That's what they're, they're grown made, for. Wait, wait, sir. They're made to die. Yes. Aren't you made to die? Yeah, but not to be fed. Not to be what? Fed. Not to be what? Fed. Fed? Yes. Hey, sir. Sir, you do not yell at a judge, okay? And you don't come to court dressed like you're, you came off just plowing the field. And this is, you wanna laugh? No. What do you think, you find this funny? No. The man's broken hearted over his fish. Meadow's fish died of a broken heart because you were gone. You ever think of that? You think, do, do you think a little fish is gonna feel anything? Yeah, they got, they got hearts. They have hearts. Yes, sir. But not the feeder fish. Not the feeder fish. They're inbred, so they have no heart. Were these imported fish or domestic fish? You know, they're, you know, pet, pet, they're from banana. Africa. Huh? They're African cichlids. Ad African what? Cichlids. They're from Africa. So they're, how much are they worth? Do you have a bill of sale of this stuff? No, well, when I got them, they were like $5, but, you know, over a seven-year period. So the price went up over seven years because why? Because you have to feed them. How much could a fish eat? <laughs> over seven years? You, you feed them live fish. We're trying to get, put a price on this. And worms. But if I go out to purchase those type of fish, it would cost 250 plus. How do you two know each other? We live in the same building. You live in the same, so you're friends. Your boyfriend, girlfriend? No. no. Anytime? No. no. You find him attractive? No, I don't. Do you find her attractive? Sometimes. <laughs> I see what's going on. So sometimes, so you asked her to do this, to come and take care of the fish in your apartment in hopes that maybe she might find you attractive. <laughs> Isn't that what, that what that is? That's what this is. And then the fish dies so you could spend more time with her in court, coming or whatever. This is your sick way of thinking that you're dating. And tying up the courts because you want to sleep with her. Tell me that's not the truth. Be honest now. It's not the truth. You just said you found her attractive. Yeah. And you don't want to sleep with somebody who find, you find attractive? I don't want to sleep. You want to sleep with her. And you are willing to kill your fish to do it. I, I give you a... I'm disgusted with this. I want a real case. The judges ruled in favor of the defendant. Let's speak with the litigants. Sir, have you been able to move beyond and purchase more guppies? No, these were these were African cichlids and and where they're where they're uh, the fish are now there is a is a it's it's a civil war going on and you can't even get those fish here anymore. Oh I'm sorry. Good luck to you. Thank you. Miss? Hi. Do you feel bad that he his fish died and your Yes, care? I do. I do feel bad, but it wasn't my fault at all. I fed the fish like mm -hmm. he told me and when he got home a day or two later he found his fish dead. It's not my fault. Well good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. And that concludes our case. <laughs> And this is it. I want to see it. Right, come right here in the center. Both of you, come right here in the center. Come here. Now you, you give her a big wet it. one and prove to me that, that, that you are not sexually harassing him. You must now kiss each other to prove to me that you are lesbians.
and think this guy's a liar. Yes, That's a he lie. Right. He didn't hey, lie. hey, hey, hey! No. I'll tell you what's a lie. Take this bull. Right the f up, yo, you with this gavel. Give me this. Take